Hello my lovelies and welcome back to another video. For today's video, I did some damage at Ulta Beauty and Sally Beauty Supply Store. I bought a lot of different hair accessories and I figured I wanted to see how I can make the top bun even more better. Let's try them all on because I have a lot. First thing, let's try to make a top bun. Should I leave some hair out? Yes, I'll leave some hair out. I'm gonna take a clear elastic and just create a quick ponytail with the hair. And then with the ponytail, I'm gonna take it and wrap it around the clear elastic and then take a second clear elastic and then secure it into a top knot. Very simple. And then I'm gonna pull it apart just a little bit and maybe take little mini bobby pins to hold it all in place just because I do have some layers and my hair is shorter at the moment. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the back and kind of tighten it up a little bit so it doesn't look as messy. I'm just gonna pick them up and take mini bobby pins and just secure it all away. All right, so now that the bun is complete, let's start with the first accessory. I saw this right here. I thought it was so cool. Look at that. I think it'll be really cute for a little bun. I'm actually just gonna place it right in the front. You can always place it in the back as well. But let's see if it's gonna stay. Oh, that's actually really cute. What do we think of option number one? These next hair accessories are kind of like these comb clips and I thought these would be really cute for the top nut. I like this one because it has really cool rhinestones and you could totally make it into a crown. Because this is straight, I'm actually going to bend the little comb at the very bottom to kind of make it a little crown for the top nut. So all you have to do is just bend it like so. Very easy. I don't know how many uses you'll get out of this. Just like that. So now you have a little comb that you can just drive right into your top knot. How cute. Isn't that cute? It's like a little crown for your top knot. I love it. This next one is very similar, like I showed you with the hair comb. This one's really cool. It reminds me of kind of like a Viking-esque warrior princess vibes. So instead of putting it in the front, I'm gonna go towards the back and just kind of surround the bun with this little clip. What do we think of my Viking warrior princess option number three? I think this one's really edgy and fun. It's very minimal. But you turn around, you're like, oh, what's that? That's cute. That's how I feel with this. <laughs> so next we have hair clips that actually have clips attached to them. This one actually is a ponytail cuff and this is not, but it's a clip. They both have clips. And I also have another ponytail cuff, but I don't think I'm gonna try this one on. Let's try this one, cause this one's really cute. So because my bun is bigger than this right here, <laughs> I'm just gonna take hair from the front of the bun and just secure it with this to kind of give a little bit of emphasis in the front. I think that will look really cute and very edgy and modern. <laughs> It's a really cool looking rectangle. So I'm gonna take the little clip and go inside as a bun. Grab his hair as much as I can. And then just secure it. Ooh, that's actually cute. What do we think of option number four? This one's actually really cute. It looks very square. Rectangle, actually. <laughs> this next one I thought was so cool. I've never seen this kind of bobby pin before. It's really pretty, it's very edgy. Also reminds me of a Viking-esque princess vibe. The quartz and then it has really pretty jewels that are wrapped around the quartz. I thought this was really fun. And the same thing, I think this would be really cool to kind of place it in the back, maybe at an angle right underneath the bun. Maybe you could even place it on the side somehow, but either way, this is really, really cute. Or just straight down, yeah, kind of going down. But I'm gonna do it probably on the side of the bun. Where should I place it actually? Let's keep it symmetrical. So you can do it either way. You can do it sideways like I just did horizontally, 
or give it a little bit more of an edge, do it vertically. I think I like the vertical better. What do you like, babe? I like the lollipop look. This looks like, like a lollipop? Well, it goes up and then there's the bun on the top of it. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you guys like better? Other bobby pin options I found were these ones. I thought these were so cute. I love the rose gold, the gold and the silver. They have like different textures on them. And then these really cool little arrows. But these are really fun. You have silver and gold. You could place some bobby pins in the very front. You can place them in the back in a really cool design. There's just so many cute things you could do with bobby pins. But this one right here, I think is my favorite. This next one is really cool and funky. I love that it's a clear elastic and then you have a bow attached with it and these gold little chains dangling off. I just thought this was super cool and for a top knot, this is really awesome. This is extremely easy to do. All you need to do is just take the clear elastic and just place it over the bun. But I'm gonna keep the bow and the little gold chains going towards the back of the bun. What do we think of this one? I'm just gonna keep the chains loose or you can pick up the chains, just wrap them once each way, kind of make them a little bit shorter. Which one do you guys like better? Or a third way, you could just layer the chains in the back to give an extra element of awesomeness. <laughs> Point is, just have fun with it. <laughs> For the next look, I'm going to be utilizing this couple of different ways. So I'm gonna wear it as a really pretty scarf or a headband, and then I'm gonna actually take this and wrap it around the bun. I just love this one. I think it's so pretty. And I love that you can actually tie it. Oh, so pretty. Ooh, yeah, that's cute. Or you can just wrap it around your bun, like I said. Very gentle, and then just tie it off in the back. Which one's your favorite? The headband or the little wrap around the bun? Next, we have a bunch of different headbands or scar head scarves or whatever you want to call them. But I'm gonna use this one because this one's really cute. I like the pattern on it. Has a little like 70s vibe to it, so I think it's really cute. And I like the little cinched bottom. And you can also wrap this around your bun if you want. But I'm just gonna use it as a regular headband. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like this one. What do you guys think of option number eight? Headbands. <laughs> I'm gonna take the little headband and just wrap it around the bun to create a different look. This is giving me very like 80s vibes. I like it. <laughs> so this next one I showed you guys already. This is a hair elastic with a little cuff attached to it. I just think these hair accessories are so easy to use, but they make such a really cute, bold statement to your hairstyles. So what I'm gonna do, because this hair elastic is really small, I'm just gonna expand it a little bit and just place it on my bun, but keep the little cuff in the back to give it a little different look instead of in the front. And there we have it for this one. It's super cute, but also has a nice, really cool edge. This looks Japanese. Looks Japanese? Yeah. Oh, I like Japanese. Food. You're, like, you're gonna take out your sword and like fight me. And last but not least, we are at number 10. So these last ones are really fun. They definitely remind me of the 80s of the big scrunchies, but these are like the modernized scrunchies. They're smaller, they're really pretty cool twists, and I love the colors on them. These are really funky. So I think I'm gonna take two of them and wrap them around the bun, maybe twice or three times, and just to give it texture and color to the bun. Which ones should I do? These two? Yeah. These super funky ones? All right, let's do these funky ones. Just literally just wrap it around the bun. One. Maybe I should do all four. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I'm gonna do one more. Let's do this one. Ooh, 
it kind of looks like a weird African tree on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, these are really tight. Wow, they're really pulling my hair. But I think it's really funky and it's giving me 80 vibes. I like it. It looks weird, but I guess weird is cool. Hey, you could definitely rock this. I would definitely rock this at the gym because these are really tight. So there we have it. I'm honestly surprised my bun is still surviving. <laughs> Which one was your favorite out of the 10? I think I definitely love the first. I loved the second. I love the bobby pin where when I did it vertically, I thought that was really cool. I like the scrunchies. Honestly, I like them all. They're all very different. Thank you guys so much for watching, spending time with me and seeing how we can accessorize our top nut. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.